Hello, hello. Give me one second. Let me just take this. I swear, ever since I downloaded that thing, you're gonna hear that a lot. Every time I copy a link on Google or wherever. There we go. <clears throat> Gotta have. Oh man. Psycho girl. Yo, Johnny uh, and Greninja, how you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, Johnny, what's up? How's it going? And Hikari as well. Welcome, welcome, guys. It looks like the evening people are here right now. Cool, that's pretty cool. Alright. There's something confusing here. How about that? Nothing? Okay, cool. It's good to hear, guys. It's good to hear. I wanted to go to GameStop earlier today, like I said. You just sent out your Greninja in a battle? <laughs> I wanted to go to GameStop today. To, to pre-order a game, but I completely, I didn't forget, I didn't just, I didn't have an opportunity to actually go, so I'm gonna try to go first thing tomorrow in the morning, because I don't want to forget, because I tend to be the person that if I don't do it right away, I'm never gonna do it, and I have to pre-order that game, I'm gonna try to see if I can pre-order Danganronpa as well, <clears throat> it's gonna really hurt my wallet, I, it's because I wanted Danganronpa for the PC, but I'll see. I, I can't. I can't think about it too much. Anyway, guys, uh, welcome. Your brother just turned forty-three. Wow. I have a friend who just turned, uh, like, seventeen today. I think, and I said eighteen, and they were getting, they were pretty mad about that. And I'm like, hey, man, it's been a while, man. The numbers sometimes just get like mixed up in a bunch. And I'm like, come on, cut me some slack. Happy birthday to your brother, Greninja. Anywho, so last night we beat uh, Tokyo Dark and we got, uh, I'm going to use movie's words for it, a bittersweet ending where we saved Reina and basically we we forgot about, we forgot, we forgot about Kazuki. So I, you know, it was a hard decision for me. But I had to forgive Reyna for what happened because what happened wasn't her fault. Everything that happened from as a child, everything was controlled. So she couldn't she couldn't choose not to be a mass bearer. She didn't even know what was going on. So how could she how could she even stop it? So yeah. So this time we're gonna do things a little differently. So let's hop right into this. Now that I know um, what happens in the game and whatnot, uh. Hopefully I can uh, choose a better outcome for, yeah, drinking a lot of water. I have to drink a lot of water for this. A lot of reading is going to be done. Uh, yo, Trevor Robinson, welcome back. How you doing? Hopefully you're having an awesome day so far. Consider your actions. The decisions you will make change the world around you and how your story unfolds. Autosave makes every decision final. There is no going back. Click to continue, of course. When I read that at the beginning, I'm like, here we go. I'm going to mess something up in the story, and I'm going to have to stick with it. No messing up this time for me. Oh, I need to fix that. Can I do this now? Because I think last time... I need to make the text larger so you guys can actually read that. There we go. Where? How? I feel groggy. Like I've woken up from a long sleep and forgotten another life in the process. 
Important dreams always fade away too quickly. To get a hold on why they moved you the way they did. 10.30? Yep, it's 10.36 p.m. right here. Ten thirty six. I still remember when my dad used to. Whoa! In Pokemon Fire Red, when you were ten, cause he trained to. He trained up all his Pokemon. Wow. Eating chicken egg rolls. Are you eating that right now, Hikari? That sounds actually pretty delicious. I'm actually getting a little hungry now. What was it that was so important? What was I searching for? Kazaki, where are you? Wait a second. What is this? I can skip? Well, for those of you who saw last night... Awesome, Hikari, man. I'm getting hungry now. So, for those of you who saw last night, we already know who this girl is. That is Reina. Or Ruby, the, the idol. When I close my eyes, she's always there. Smiling. Always smiling. We just saw a little flashback of what happens later. You guys didn't see that part, but... Yeah. From the grimy fabric of the train seat, I recognize a familiar face. I hate that. I hate that, man. What game is this? This is Tokyo Dark. A point-and-click uh, psychological horror game. Hey, Bruno! Welcome, welcome. How you doing? What's your badge doing in a place like this? Where are you? Detective Tanaka Kazuki, right? And now we're back to reality, it seems. Ito, where are you? I've been trying to reach you for 20 minutes. I guess this means you heard about the phone? Yeah. Saki told me. I'm on my way to Shinjuku now. I couldn't wait for the uniforms and miss another, and miss another chance. We've narrowed down the GPS signal to the back alley and east part of town. You're the only detective I trust that's near it. That said, I'd be an idiot not to send in a team behind you. Lucky for us. It doesn't look like it's moved in the last 40 minutes. What's your ETA? ETA. I should be there in about 10 minutes. How long until your team arrives? At this rate, about 20 minutes behind you. Ito, we have no idea what you're walking into, so no heroics. Find the phone, discover what you can about it, and... Discover what you can about how it got there, and then report straight back to HQ. Understood? Yes, sir. I know this one's been especially tough for you. He's your partner, and I understand that you want to be the one to bring him home. But, well... Are you going to be okay being back in the field? I know it's been a while since the, uh, incident. So you can't blame me for being a little hesitant. Remember to keep an eye on your spin attributes from time to time by pressing the escape key. I'm taking a big risk in trusting you with this, Ito. We can't have another repeat of Kamakura. I'm fine, sir. I have everything under control. I'll report it once I find the phone. Behind the pleasantries, it's plain as day that Yukimura still doesn't trust me to be on my own. The day Tanaka went missing, the uniforms completely ruined the crime scene. There's no way I'll let that happen again. Hold on, Tanaka. I'll be there soon. Let me see if I can actually edit this real quick. Because for a game like this, I want you to see the, the clicker. The, the mouse clicker. Alright, Hikari. Ooh, she... that I like that part there. Looks so epic. And you're eating Taco Bell, huh, Greninja? Wait a minute. Wait, what? Wait, so they give me multiple save files after you beat the game once? Dude, that is good! Wait, no, is that what this means? Oh, yes! Wait a minute, can I access- Yes, you can! Dude, this is awesome. Because it would have been a pain to play this game like 20 different times just to get all endings. Dude, that is awesome! 
I was complaining throughout the first time that like, ah, the one thing that really hurts is that in a game like this with 11 ending, 11 different endings, there was no multiple save files. But now they kind of fixed that, so... <laughs> awesome! Now, let me do this real quick. I was going to try to change this... so that you can actually see the cursor. Now you should be able to see it. There we go, you can see it, but now it looks black there. Hey, Flurry, how you doing? Welcome, it's been a while. It's been a while, how you been? Hopefully you've been having a good one and a good day so far. Yes, New Game Plus already. We, uh, we beat the game last night. I got one of the endings. So now I'm playing again. I'm trying to do things a little differently in the game. No more stupid decisions. This one, I want to do everything right. No stupid decisions. And I kind of want to save Kazuki as well, or at least attempt to. But yes. There was no sign of him and we had no leads. From one of the most populous cities on the earth, he simply disappeared. That is, until an hour ago, when his phone was mysteriously switched on. Tracing it led me here, to this grimy road on the east side of Shinjuku. Nothing good ever happens on this part of town. In my opinion, the smaller a chicken skewer place is, the better. At least that's what I used to tell Tanaka. No, you're right about that. Closed. Not like I have time for chicken tonight anyway. Oh yeah, now that it said tonight, let me see the time. So it's 12.06 then. Alright, so it is in um, military time. Yeah. Let me see, is it? No, because it's, uh, it's like stopped. Wait a minute, there we go. Oh yeah, so it is military time. So when it's paused, it's not really moving. Got it. Yeah, so it's 12.06 um, midnight in this game right now. When you get the digital copy of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you get 12 Quick Balls. Ooh, that's nice. You've been busy, you got a research paper due Sunday, and you haven't started it yet. Man, man, I know, I know that life, man. I'm not too far off from going back into the college life, but Jesus. I remember when I had to do papers, I kind of like, I wiggled my way out of papers usually. Especially if there were like English and some science papers I had to do before. Like research. Let's go to the blue moon. And let's talk to our lady friend again. I'm Detective Ito, the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Hmm. Could smell the cop on you the minute you step through the door. Yeah, sure. Ask away. But make it quick. It usually starts getting busy around now. Alright. Uh Have you seen this man in here in the last day or two? Who's he? Some boyfriend of yours? He's a cop, and he's missing. Have you seen him or not? A lot of cops pass through here. But that one I haven't seen. Listen, I've got paying customers and not a lot of free time. So can you either order a drink? So you can either order a drink or you can go. This hostess seems pretty cagey. She might open up after a drink, but then again, maybe not. I need to be careful here. Yeah. <laughs> you see, last time the game got me. You know, I was thinking, I was, I don't know what I was thinking last time, but I ordered a drink and that was not very professional, and that came to bite me in the rear later in the game, so refuse. No drink. I don't drink while I'm working. Professionalism plus five. Excellent. Funny. I don't work without drinking. Sorry, detective. I can't help you. It's funny because she didn't help out much last time. Can't you see I'm busy? When I took the drink, she kind of didn't really help. Hey, Hikari, welcome back. Evening, sir. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh, and what are you supposed to be then? I think this one's with the police, honey. Detective Ito, Tech Tokyo Metropolitan Police. 
Police, huh? Name's Goto. Hmm. Is the gun real too? Why don't you let me buy you a drink? M maybe you can show me your gun and I can show you mine. Her, her, her. Again, I'll quote myself from the beginning of the game last time. That's fucking disgusting. Excuse my language. Charming. How about we stick to the questions? You seem like a regular. Have you seen this man tonight? Ah, I don't know. See these glasses, Detective Otto? My eyesight's not so good. Why don't you come over here and sit on my knee so I can have a closer look? I'll pass. Hm, listen, I tried to help you, but if you don't want it, uh, that's fine with me. <laughs> yeah, he's a creepy dude. We'll be seeing more of him later, unfortunately, but for now, let's leave him be. Those moobs, though? <laughs> Alright, let me look at that. A shabby looking bar with a butterfly logo on the sign. A hostess bar. Watered down booze exchanged for fake smiles, and there's girls to laugh at your jokes. On a normal night, there's no way I'd look for Tanaka here. Tonight's not exactly normal, though. We already did that. I thought we'd get, yeah, investigation plus one. The back entrance to a shuttered store. I can't get in. Let's talk to Daiso. Daiso's my man, though. Because Daiso really, uh... <laughs> that's why you don't go to bars? Yeah, I'm not really the type to go, you know... I'm not a bar scene and whatnot. Corrections. Uh, that's why you don't go to bars alone. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm not, I'm a, I'm not much of a bar person, anyway. Like, for me, I don't really do... that. You see that kind of stuff? Like, you just go to a bar to have girls laugh at your jokes? That's something they do there. Not, not saying that every bar does that, but yeah. The small bar doesn't seem to have a lot of customers, but there's a good view of the alley from the storefront. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Daizo. There's gonna be a dialogue option with him later on that I really wanna fix. Because I, I think I messed up with this guy too. I'm Detective Ito of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? No problem at all. You can call me Daizo if you want. I haven't, er, done something wrong, have I? No, nothing like that. I was hoping you could help me, actually. Have you seen this man, maybe sometime tonight? Hold on. Mind if I take uh, another peek at that picture? Hmm, sorry. I don't think I've seen him after all. Are you positive? Yeah, I definitely remember. You see, to be honest, Business hasn't been so great, so I haven't seen much of anyone lately, and I definitely remember a guy like that. Mostly I just sit here alone, wiping down the counter over and over again. Can't say I thought this is what I'd be doing as the owner of a bar in Shinjuku, you know? Not to mention, honest guys like me are being driven out of business around here. All the other places, like that hostess club up the street, are cutting corners. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, Daiso. I've got one more question, if that's okay. You have a pretty good view of the alley from here. Seen anything unusual out there tonight? Unusual? Now that you mention it, when I went out the back before I thought I heard a ringing sound coming from inside one of the dumpsters, uh, it just kept ringing and ringing. Speaking of rings, I had to pawn my wedding ring to pay this month's rent. If my wife heard about that, the next thing in the dumpster might be me. <laughs> Poor Daizo. Anything else? Nope, he's just sighing. So we gotta get out of here. Ooh, Neurosis plus one. Let me check out my... Let me check this out. Alright, so far so good. We're looking good. The thing that's gonna probably go negative pretty soon is the sanity because... This game is... It, it drives the main character crazy, so yeah. Stable, professional, competent, and stressed. I'm already stressed? How? Yeah, Daizo... Daizo, like I said before in the last playthrough, he's really one of my favorites in this game. Such a relatable guy, in my experience, I guess. 
Doesn't look like anyone's been home for a while, but I wonder who'd want to live on a street like this anyway. Whatever was drawn on someone tried scrubbing off, but gave up halfway. This keypad, which will be useful later, for such a grimy looking door, uh, that sure is a fancy lock. Without a code, there's no way I'm getting in. The small old wooden emblem on the door is so worn, I can't make it out. Makes you wonder what kind of stores used to be here before it was cannibalized by bars. It's some sort of warehouse or storage building. No clue what type of company it belongs to, but the dumpsters are definitely theirs. What a stench! Well, pretty normal for a dumpster, I guess. It's locked up tight. Let me enter here first. Because last time, I went to the dumpster first, and I just took out my gun in public. People walking around, and they're like, oh man, that cop is crazy. Just taking out their gun. Okay, nobody's here. Nobody's here. Very well then. Blood? No. Only fresh red paint. Whole thing reminds me of Kamakura and that girl. But there's no time to dwell in the past tonight. I have to work to do. No doubt about it. That's Tanaka's phone, all right. But who would have put it in there? Oh, I can barely hear the f the phone. That's an industrial strength lock. No way I can force it open. But I bet someone in this building got a key. Alright, let's go in there again. Oh boy. <laughs> Not scared. That was just that was just a little startling. I, I closed my eyes as a reflex of things, but I'm definitely not scared. <clears throat> whoa, 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 lady, we're closed. Uh, what are you doing in here? Uh, did you just see that girl? See what now? The lights were flickering, so I came over, but the only girl I see is you. You all right, lady? You're, like, really pale. Yeah, I'm fine. So, um, this is, like, private property, so if you don't go, I'm gonna have to go and, like, talk to the police. You're talking to the police. I need to access the dumpsters outside this building. Oh, yeah? Right on, right on. Go for it. The dumpster is locked. Oh, right, yeah. You'll need the key to get into it. I've got one though, so no worries. Right. Can I have the key? Which key? I've got like a lot of keys. Give me the dumpster key. Oh, right, sorry. Yes, sir, er, ma'am, uh, detective, sir, here. So, er, uh, you didn't like actually see anyone in here, right? Because uh, I'm just part time, so. Yeah. Don't worry about it, kid. Phew. Right, detective. Ma'am, I gotta go do, like, other duties, you know? Over there, away from the creepy corner. Laters! He's a funny dude, but I didn't like him later because he snitches on us. Well, now he has nothing to snitch about because I didn't take a drink, and I'm not gonna shoot the dumpster. Ha! Joke's on you, uh, worker guy. Oh boy, that looks disgusting. Oh my god. That must be it. A filthy paper bag surrounded by a swarm of flies. The ringing is coming from inside. I'll need to fish out... I'll need to fish it out of there and get a closer look. Well, um, actually Flurry... Uh, yeah, it, it's not different. I'm basically just gonna do another route. When I first played this in my recordings, um, it's the same thing. I'm not skipping any dialogue, so you're really not gonna miss much. The only thing is that you're probably gonna experience a different story than what I did at my first playthrough. So I'm just kind of like calling back to what I did earlier, like in my first playthrough. In my first playthrough in this part, 
instead of going to the guy first, I shot down the lock, and so I was doing some crazy stuff. I took the drink from the lady, I shot open the lock, and this guy, man, yeah, it, it was a it was a trip. That game was a trip. I had lots of fun, but you know, I want to do things the right way now, or what I perceive to be the right way. So far, I'm doing good. To get a closer look, huh? As I draw near, the familiar metallic scent of blood drifts into my nostrils. Written on the bag are two characters I know very well. Aya Mi. What the hell's going on here? <gasps> Embedded in the gruesome red mask is Tanaka's phone. As I slide the phone out, I'm overwhelmed by the smell of rotting meat and the buzzing of flies. What kind of rotting meat is that, though? What in the frick? Hello? Who is this? Oh, you finally picked up. I knew you would eventually. It's been a long time, Ayami-chan. How do you know my name? Where's Tanaka? Where are you keeping him? Shh, Ayami-chan. Shh. Tanaka's right here with me in the sewer. Come down. There's something I want you to see. Damn! The bars won't budge. The red paint on both the inside and outside of the drain. So someone around here must know how to get in. Rotting meat. Josh? Yo, Josh, welcome. How you doing? How's it going? Uh, whether it's rotting... I, whether it's human meat, I'm not sure. They never really explained that. I was hoping maybe I could get some more insight on that, but... I don't know. Alright, clearly the only one that knows how to get in there is that dude, so we have to go back to him. I went too far. You got a problem with something? What do you want? Alright, how about you? Can you see I'm busy? Alright, no, not them. I think I have to talk to Daizo first. Daizo, and then Daizo gives me the information about... I first have to gather the information. Sorry to bother you again, Daizo. But do you know anything about the storm drain at the end of the alley? No worries, detective. Now that you mention it, and you might not believe me, but I swear a fat guy in a suit climbing out of there a few days ago along with some girl. He's kind of infamous around here, uh, probably at one of those hostess clubs as usual. Uh, maybe the Butterfly Club? Hopefully, he stays there. Anyway, that storm drains bad news if you ask me. I steer clear of it. There we go, we got the news. So the fat bastard that's over here is the one that accesses it. Hmm, I wonder why. They already said that he brings some girl in there. Yeah. You got a problem, son? What do you want? Wait, isn't it this guy? Wait, who else do I have to talk to then? Wait, I think I think he ha I have to ask him about something else. My phone's like about to die. Sorry. This is a little strange. But you haven't seen a girl with red hair lately, right? Red hair? Not lately. Guess that doesn't help, though, huh? No, it's alright. Honestly, it's kind of a relief. Uh, what about anyone else out of the ordinary? You were listening when I said I saw a uh, guy crawl out of the storm drain, right? At least when business is in the dumps, I know I have to deal with people like that. Anything else? Wait, let me go back in. Okay, nothing more. So now we get to head over to the Butterfly Club. Just tell me one thing. What do you know about the storm drain leading to the sewer at the end of the street? Huh? Sewer? What kind of question is that? I don't know anything about some dirty sewer. Got it, because you really don't know anything. I'm not going to beg for information, because this guy knows about it. Excuse me. I've got a witness who says something fitting your description. 
has entered the storm drain at the end of the uh, street before. Any chance that was you? I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Hmm. I think the last time I threatened him, so let me actually beg for the information. Please help me. I don't know what else I, I don't know what else to do. I'm running out of time. Please. Just tell me how to get into this drain, please. Aw, she's crying. <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? You're just going to sit there and beg like a dog? <sighs> Fine. Just get up. You'll scare away the customers, and I've got enough problems already. You want to know about that sewer? I see Goto over there going in sometimes with some girls. Who the hell knows what he's up to? He tried to get me to go in there with him once. Told me it was a sacred down there. As if that was supposed to make me feel better. I told him to piss off. No amount of money is getting me down there with him. But those other girls? Well, business isn't always this booming. And since I know you won't piss off until I tell you how to get in there, I'll tell you what he told me. Twist the leftmost uh, bar right into the... Right to the next bar to the left. They'll come loose and you can climb in. Happy now? Now, if you could shuffle out of here before anyone sees you, that would be swell. So I lost professionalism because I begged. But threatening him would have... I mean, I don't know. Threatening the guy last time I felt was uh, the bad choice as well. Whatever. This game doesn't know what it's talking about. Alright, let's go to the sewers. It was actually really nice to see that scene, though, with uh, Ayami. She came out with the puppy dog eyes and on tears and everything. Someone has strung up some cheap lights haphazardly along the ceiling. Maybe in a vain attempt at creating an intimate atmosphere. Oh, God. Not this again. Ugh. Seeing that probably took a few years off my life. The photo is in good shape, and I guess it was probably taken recently. That is... That's nasty. That's muy wakala. Yeah, definitely you. That is a... Uh, 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 moment. I wonder what the shrine gate is doing down here after all this time. Maybe the builders were too superstitious to destroy it when the sewer was built? Perhaps. A thin, freshly painted line... A thin, freshly painted line of red paint runs slowly down the wall towards the well. It's Gamble, but I could try getting down there barehanded. Gotta think before, um... Gotta think there's something around here I could use to climb down more safely, though. The same fresh paint used on the wall and the drain outside. Whoever painted it must be close. I kind of... Good thing you weren't eating? Yeah, man. Oh, man. You know, I really want to just climb down, but even Ayami says herself, there has to be a more convenient way of actually getting down there. Like... <sighs> so I'm going to go and do that then. Ah, the rope on the salary man, yeah. If he's down here often, uh, there's a possibility he has the rope on him tonight. I should take this photo to remind him. Alright, let's go. I have reason to believe you might be carrying a rope on you. I need it. Hey, Detective Otto! Uh, you wanna beg for me too? <laughs> God, he saw that. And now he wants me to beg for him too. Get, get out of here. Get out of town, dude. Anyway, I don't know anything about some rope or whatever. I don't have time for this. But why was there a... I, a, 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 that kind of thing isn't... Illegal! <laughs> well, in your case, it definitely should be. 
No, it's not. Breaking into a sewer to do it, however, is. And this picture is pretty strong evidence to put you at the scene, don't you think? Hey, now, uh, let's say, well, why don't I trade you? I'll give you that rope and you can give me that picture. I was just about to suggest something similar, except I keep the rope and the picture, and in exchange, you get to stay out of jail for tonight. Uh, fine, fine, just take it. You know what, I'm starting to think you might not be my type. I lost professionalism for that, but whatever. I feel like this is the only conventional way to get down there. Maybe in another playthrough, I'll walk down with my bare hands. He reminds you of that boy from your high school year? Yeah. Yeah. In my next playthrough, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna actually try to climb down barehanded to see what happens. I feel sorry for Ayami because we have to witness this scene again. Where she climbs down using the rope. The rope is thin, and I know it's been used, but it's all I've got. Here goes nothing. God, the way she mentions it, it's been used. She's touching it. She's touching this fat, ugly bastard, dude. That is very... That's not... That's no bueno. No bueno. Thank God they gave me at least more files, dude. Yeah, man, that's good. That is good. I'm gonna continue on my, my first save file. Because later on, I know that we're gonna branch onto different um, paths. It might be very close, actually. I probably should have did the second save file now. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, well. Well, here we go, guys. I have to focus. <sighs> Reyna, we meet again. Yeah, she has gloves, huh? Thanks for pointing that out. I, that probably would have been better. No, but I mean, she's still kind of physically, like, you know, the guy touched the rope and... He's touching that. Reyna! I think I'd find you down here. It's impossible. No, not impossible. I knew she'd be here. I always knew. And there's Kazuki, just like she promised. His hands are bound to a, and crude. Bloodstained sack has been draped over his head. Again. Again. I say to myself like it's an ordinary as the sun rising. Inevitable. Kazuki. I wish I could see your face again. I wish I could save you, but there's nothing I can say that will make a difference. Tonight, I'll lose you. Wait a second. Oh, so this game is playing out a little differently. Because at the beginning of the game, she didn't say this, I think. What am I saying? I've got a job to do. Tanaka, hang in there. I'll get you out of this. Ito, is that you? Get out! Run! She's not what you... Shh, shh, shh. Don't waste your time talking to her. <sighs> you won't even speak to me? Not even a hello? Or a long time no see, Ayami-chan? No. You just talk to him like I'm not even here. Ayami, I'm sorry. Please save yourself. Quiet! I'm... I mean... Uh, Please be quiet, Tanaka. There, there. Shh. It'll all be over soon. And then we'll be together. In the dark. So don't think about her anymore. Why do you look like her? What is this? Look like who? I looked this way for a long time. What you looking for, Ayami-chan? The bullet in my head? I, I won't fall for that. Anyone could have read about that case. Ayami, don't talk to her. Run, for both our sakes. Why? Why are you talking to her? Why are you taking her side all of a sudden? You said you'd help me. Stop talking to her. I'm not going anywhere. We can both help you. No one needs to get hurt. <laughs> you mean like last time in Kamakura? No, Ayami-chan. No more talking. You're going to sit there like a good girl and listen until we're done. Ayami, forget what you've seen here and go. Save yourself. See, 
Tanaka's so caring, even s about a bitch like you. That's why he promised to help me. Soon we don't need you. Shh. Can you hear that? The voices. They're back. You remember the little whispers, don't you? I knew it. I knew it would happen. Now I can take Tanaka with me, and he'll help me find a door. <laughs> it's like when I was little. There were police back then, too. <laughs> Don't you see, Ayami-chan? It's exactly like last time. It'll work. Tanaka will be with me now. Everything will be different this time. This time, it will let me go. I won't let you take him from me. He promised to help me, and now, even you can't get in the way. Faced with the impossible, my mind raced in every direction uh, to come up with a logical explanation. The clothes, the hair, the mannerism were all the same, but I still didn't believe. It was when she mentioned the voices that my defenses began to wear down. There was no way she could have known about that. I left it out of my reports, and Kazuki and I didn't even talk about it. I began to accept that the girl I faced really was the same girl, and into my nostrils the scent of cherry blossoms began to intermingle with the stink of sewage. I tried to focus on Kazuki and keep him talking, but the girl wouldn't let him. He sounded strange under the hood, like he was hurt. I knew I didn't have much time. How are you here? In Kamakura, I... I... Murdered me? No, it wasn't like that. I wasn't trying to... To... Ayami, there's nothing you can do. I know it's confusing, but you have to run. It's your only chance to get out of this. Oh, you, be a good little boy and hush now. You know, it almost sounds like you feel bad about it. Almost. All I wanted in Kamakura was the mask, but you were hiding it from me. I'd been searching it for so long, Ayami-chan. So many different shrines. Then Tanaka showed up. He didn't look at me like I was some sort of rabbit little animal. Not like all the others. No, no, no. Not my Tanaka. He wanted to help me. Really help me. And I almost believed he would. Before... Before you showed up. Well... We all know what happened after that, don't we? Poof! I woke up in the dark again. <laughs> I can still feel it! It hurt me, Ayami. It hurt so bad. I was this close to changing everything, but you took it away from me. I wondered why someone so nice as Tanaka would be with someone so horrible like you. So I went after him instead. He even gave me the mask. What? You don't believe me? He doesn't care about you, remember? He wants to help me. But the mask wouldn't wake up. Not like it did in Kamakura. It won't work if it's not awake. Oh. But Ayami, it worked. Everyone always called me stupid, but look at me now! Tanaka and I will be together, and I'll finally find a door. But first, I have to send him there. I'm sorry, Tanaka, it's the only way you can help me. I want you to help me, please. You promised, and you, Ayami-chan, you can watch. Even though none of it made sense at the time, the girl truly believed every word she said. When she talked about Kazuki, her eyes lit up as if she was really believed uh, he was her savior. The situation was deteriorating, and her grip on the knife hadn't loosened a bit. I had to keep her talking. I don't know why you're here, but you're not beyond saving. You want help, alright? I get that, so let me help you. Shut up. Shut up! You don't care about me! No one cares about me! My whole life, people have told me they want to help me. They want to love me. It's all been a lie. It's not a lie. You're sick. And if you want, let me help you. No! Be quiet! Tanaka said before, didn't he? Back then, he said it wasn't real. That he could make it better. He was wrong. I'm not sick! Look around you, Ayami-chan. Look at me! You see me, don't you? Do you still think I'm sick? Why are you doing this? Why? 
I told you why. You really are stupid, aren't you, Ayami-chan? Every day is the same. Is the same. Is the same. But now I've got Tanaka here with me. It's like a new adventure. The Dark will behave with him and the mask in it. And then we can start looking for the door. And when we find it, everyone will... Oh, but stupid selfish Ayami-chan, you want to know why I brought you here, huh? You're just here to wake it up. You think you're the hero? Gonna save the day? Wrong! I'll prove it. Stand right there. I'll show you right what Tanaka thinks of you. Kazuki never called for help, never protested. It was like he knew what was going to happen from the beginning. Casually, like she'd done it hundreds of times before she slid the knife across his throat. Wait. So I couldn't save him. Alright, so I guess... So I guess he's supposed to die there because I tried to not let the timer run out last time. The timer ran out on me. And I could not save Kazuki, so I'm like... Alright, this time for sure. Maybe let me just choose every option there. And maybe just like delay the time so I can keep her talking without doing anything. But in the end, she's still... Man, that sucks. I mean, I guess it does make sense for the story to move on because if he were still alive... I don't know, I just wouldn't see the story continuing if he were to live that night. So I guess he was supposed to die. Now we go back six months in time. <laughs> hey, it's, um, Lady Fluffington. Good morning, Lady Fluffington. How are you today? Yeah. Aw, glad you're so happy. I guess Kazuki already left, huh? Yeah. You didn't drive him out, did you? No bitey scratchy? Yeah. Well, that settles that, I guess. You've been good with him lately, haven't you? I'm not gonna do the cat noises again. I... I'm not. If only you can more assure your enthusiasm. Something tells me he'll get over it, though. Do you have to play right now? Wow. <laughs> it's a very needy cat. Alright, alright. Where'd you hide your toy this time? Alright, so we're gonna go for the toy. Right, so you see this cat thing right here? Now you can see my pointer. So you can actually see what I'm doing. So this cat right here... Uh, it's been showing up throughout the game, but uh, just look at that cat, the toy, the the toy cat. The Monarchy Neko is Lady Fluffington's favorite toy and has uh, suffered from months of her batting it around. So just just keep a mental image of that cat, because I'm gonna keep bringing it up that we keep seeing it a lot of places, and I wonder if it meant anything. Who knows? If I see any while I'm out, I should pick a, a new one up. Who knows? They might even bring us good luck. Let me read this first before I play with the cat. Okay, I got it. So, an elderly man was attacked and seriously injured while emerging from a shrine in Kanda, Tokyo, prefecture la late last night. The man, Takata Isao, 74, sustained injuries to his head and abdomen, including several lacerations, and was admitted to a nearby hospital where he remains in stable but critical condition. According to police, eyewitnesses reported hearing a struggle around 11.45 p.m. and shouting from a young-sounding voice. When asked if any witnesses had seen the suspect, police said that the assailant may have been a high school-aged girl. Local high schools have been asked by police for any students fitting witnesses' descriptions, but so far, they have no leads. Citizens in the area are beginning to grow anxious and have called for increased police presence around shrines and temples, especially around the time students might be coming and going from school and late at night. 
Local police stressed the public to remain calm, citing that this was an isolated incident and that they are pursuing all leads. Some residents in the area, however, are not impressed with the police response. Local resident Suzuki Kawana, 71, points to a swath of random red paint marks on the shrine gates and cites a popular theory. Uh, let me read that. In the area, that there is a youth rebellion against Japanese traditional values. Police refused to comment when this was brought up in a recent press conference. Authorities speculate that this attack may be potentially linked to a series of crimes surrounding shrines and temples in the area. But that is the first time any violent action has occurred. The first incident occurred two months ago and resulted in the main hall of a local shrine suffering fire damage but no injuries. Another incident was reported several weeks later where a local resident noticed several dead cats in front of a shrine's gate. Police are hesitant to link the crimes because of the lack of a specific pattern. Yeah, that's a good like, uh, like she just said. Yeah, so that that's a thing, but I guess when, when I saw it in the background, in many places, okay, um, Bruno, I don't think you were here last night, but at the end, at the end level, or the end place, there was a little cat down there, too. What is that cat doing down there? It was completely out of place, I tell you. But we'll, we'll find that out soon. Hopefully, I guess. But yeah, I can see it. I know that little cat thingy that goes like that. It's like a good luck thing. Uh, it goes like that, right? Like that. Hmm. What's this? Kazuki must have been looking at it before he left. A shrine, red paint. It has all the patterns of the case he'd been working on for the last few months. Yukimura's been giving him hell. Uh, saying such a minor case is wasting precious police resources. But bullheaded as he always is, um, he won't give up. <laughs> Can't say I got it either, honestly. Chasing after some weird kids and vandals isn't his style. It's weird. He's been kind of obsessive about this case when I ask him about the details, he shrugs it off. Maybe I'll ask him about it when he comes back. Where is he anyway? It's a bit exhausting, um, being with someone who's on their own schedule all the time. At least he bought coffee before he left, otherwise, he'd be in a world of hurt. Alright, now let's play with the cat. Let's play with the Neko. For the life of me, I can't figure out why you love this thing so much. Well, whatever the reason, I'm glad it makes you so happy, little one. My neurosis went down. <laughs> what a cute freaking cat, dude. That, that scene was cute. Uh, I wonder what that was. Was it the door? Was it this door? Was it that door? Was it... Yeah, let's answer the door. Hello, neighbor! Oh, hey, Yumi. Do you, uh, want to come in? Nope. I'm on my way out. But I want to drop this off first. This is a character... Okay. Yeah, the cat was cute. Definitely cute. That's one of the cute scenes in this game. Uh, we're gonna come up to another one a little bit later on. I might not reach it on this stream, but... Yeah, I'm probably not gonna reach it on this stream. Uh, okay, let's see the character first. Um, it certainly has a distinct odor. Why does this paper bag look like the same one that had the human parts in it? That was very disturbing. Ancient family recipe. Creamy curry donuts. Coconut. Honey. Oh, they're not showing the character for some reason. Anyway, this character Yumi, um, they never really explained anything about her. She kind of just showed up and then... Like, she would just show up at her apartment, and I thought she had more of a role in the story, but she just kind of showed up, and we never heard of her again. Coconut, honey, curry powder, but the secret is the five hot chilies that are hidden in the batter. They have quite the kick. Uh, these bad boys will clean your soul with fire, inside and out. Wait, how are the chilies hidden in the batter? Yumi, I'm not so sure. Ah. Uh, uh, no need to thank me. Your body will thank me after you eat them. But anyways, how have you been? 
All I see lately is the convenience store box lunches and junk food. You need to take care of yourself. I'd be happy to cook for you two if you want. You're welcome around anytime. How about tonight? Or maybe after you're done working sometime? Tonight might be a bit tricky, and our shifts can run a little late. Unless you're happy with us dropping around at 2 a.m.? Hmm, you make a good point there, neighbor. It's bad enough you're clomping around at night. I am right beneath you, you know. Sorry, Yumi. Uh, you can blame the clomping on Kazuki. I'm a little- I'm light as a feather. Don't be sorry. It's the price of living below someone so interesting. Then again, there was that one time you started singing at 4 a.m. You were shouting something about the night not being, um, able to end until you sang some idol song. What was it again? <laughs> That's okay. You can forget about that if you like. To be honest, I liked it. It was reassuring to hear you loosen up. Plus, I like to think that it gives you a... It gives me a window into the Detective Ito's real side, you know what I mean? My real side, huh? Well, I do like karaoke. Then we should go sometime. I can sing in English too. I'm a pro. My girlfriends thought I was half. I'm quite talented, you see. Damn. That's my work phone. Oh, okay. I should get going anyway, but Ayami... Hmm? Don't forget my offer, okay? Come over sometime. I will. Sorry, Yumi. Hi. I've got to take this. Ito here. Kazuki, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Uh, thanks for picking up. I didn't know who else to call. I was wondering where you wandered off. Why are you calling me on this phone? You're not on the clock, are you? Sorry. I couldn't leave this one alone. I think I've made a big break. In what? The mystery of the broken coffee maker? Heh. <laughs> nope. Unfortunately, that case will likely remain unsolved. The shrine case I've been working on, I think I found a pattern. All of the shrines are attached to people whose names are said Kawana. There are so many ways to write Kawana in Chinese characters that we didn't see the connection. It's like our suspect has been going up and down Tokyo, going to shrines one by one looking for someone. That would explain how the pattern seems so random. Doesn't explain the weird markings on the random violence, though. No. But it's a start. I had a feel. I had a bit of a snoop through the records, and I think she'll be in Kamakura next. I'm headed there now. I can be there in a little over an hour. What do you need me to do? Thanks, Ayami. I knew I could count on you. I don't trust anyone else. I'm just about to arrive, so I'll get started on the legwork, interviewing people in the area and seeing what they know. Meanwhile, once you get here, I'll need more official stuff. Surveillance footage, public records, and the like. Not much to go on, but together we could find something. <sighs> so I get the boring stuff. Serves me right for showing up late, huh? <laughs> I'll get you a drink after, promise, Ayami. Keep an eye out for the red paint. It's been all over the crime scenes. I'll see you soon. And be careful. If I'm right, this person might be dangerous. Alright. Let's go to Kamakura. I think this is the first time we'll be seeing the map. Oh, no map this time. Okay, cool. The speakers announced my stop at an obscure station on the north side of Kamakura. A station I've never been to before. Yet, as I step into the light, I see the cherry blossoms, smell their scent in the air, hear the sounds around me. It feels so familiar. Somehow I've seen it all before. Yo, Jay, what's going on? It's been quite a while. It's like I'm watching a memory play out that I'm helpless to change. I'm trapped in this moment, being drawn towards something I can't change. Something with a violent end. People are always living in the past. Everything we experience is filtered through our brains after it happens. If we could step back and do it again, would anything change? You know, I think now is a good time to make use of my other save files because there's going to be a moment later that I kind of want to, like, I don't know. For now, let me just use another save file. And then when I want to continue, I think I can just choose different save files. Load a different save file. And now we're in the beautiful Kamakura. Oh, and I kind of just blocked out what she said in Japanese. She said, um... What beautiful cherry blossoms. 
Oh, the cherry blossoms are beautiful. All right, up here is gonna be our main man, Magira. It's his name, right, Magira? Welcome to Kamakura. I was actually looking for some information. Information? Well, you've come to the right guy. Name's Magira. Did you know that I'm no mere station attendant, but a volunteer tour guide on my days off as well? A jack of all trades. I can see from your blank expression that you don't believe me, but I'm the best there ever was. I'm not even from around here and I can still tell you everything there is to know about this place. Guidebooks? Maps? The internet? Peh! All silly toys for amateurs. I've got it all up here. Right. That's... um... great. Magira? Is that Japanese? Anyway. Uh, what kind of security do you have at this station? Are there many cameras set up around town? Eh? Cameras, you say? I guess I should explain. I'm a detective with the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. Ah, see? I'm really less of a current events kind of guy, and more of a people and dates sort. Some call me the master of time and identity. If I had harnessed my incredible knowledge and ability to examine the minute of events, I could have been a great detective myself. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. Well, okay. Maybe this one's a bit more up your alley. Can you tell me about the shrines around here? Maybe someone's off the beaten path? Oh, I know. Just down the street there's an old shrine and... And... Yes. The shrine is, um, old and, uh, nice? Go on. Okay, okay, okay. So dates aren't really my thing. But it wasn't fair. You caught me unaware with that one. I really am quite knowledgeable. Yep, I believe you. So where is the shrine? Easy. Just up the road, uh, to the right. Uh, or was it down to the left? Uh, sorry. Directions aren't really my thing. Oh, I see. Well, what do you know then? Um, well, the locals say it has a weird aura to it. See? Bet you didn't know that. Yeah. I'll, uh, have a look around for myself. Thanks. Magira's a funny dude. Magira's a funny dude. I'll give him that. I won't give you the details, but I punched him in the face. And I sent him to the hospital. And we never saw him again. It's a little bit of a spoiler, but I do feel bad for doing that to him. That's why I'm not going to give you the details as to why I did that. <laughs> I love the cherry blossoms this time of year. Kazuki and I will have to arrange a picnic before they're gone. Yeah, yeah. I'll just leave you with that bit of information. I punched him. <laughs> Red paint? I guess Kazuki's hunch was right. But why this house? I'll leave it for now. Forensics may be able to find something out of this. Hey, that, uh... I don't like crows. I mean, especially in, like, anime and movies, you know, crows usually never bring, um... Wait, uh, so how long was the first playthrough? I mean, how long did you take? Alright, so, AJ, welcome, by the way. How's it going? Uh, so I read a review on Steam that apparently you can beat this game in just like four hours. But if I had to calculate, let me see, because I did about an hour and a half. Mostly an hour and a half for each playthrough. And I did five recorded. So that would be like um, three, six... Like about nine hours. Nine hours of gameplay. So it didn't take that long. I beat the game immediately. So now I'm doing a new game plus. I'm doing things a little bit differently. I'm actually trying to do things the right way. 7.5 hours? Really? Because I know one of them, a few of them were a bit longer. Like, I tried to go for one hour and a half, but I know some of them went to like one hour and 20 minutes. But yeah, I, I did read a review that they beat the game in like four hours, so I thought it wouldn't be that long. But I found myself... Uh, 
Right, but then I counted the the stream from yesterday. Uh, yesterday's stream was about like two hours almost, because I started streaming at 9.30 at night, and I ended the stream at about 12-something-ish. So it was about like two hours, maybe, that I did last night. So that's where I got the 9. But you were right, actually. You were right. Yeah, it's not a scary game, really. It's a... This game is psychological horror, so it's more in the psyche kind of sense. Not really like a jump scare, like, oh my god, it's not gonna make me punch my TV because I got too scared. Not that I get scared, but yeah, that's... That's where I leave it at. I ran out of water. I can see something floating in the river. Uh, that has more red markings on it. I need to carefully fish it out so I don't disturb it. Shoot to break free. I'm not doing that. That's gonna cause me some consequences. Maybe I can use one of the bamboo stalks to... Or whatever's floating in the river. Uh, no way I'll be able to break it with my bare hands, though. I'm not gonna shoot it. <laughs> yeah, the game, the game thinks it can catch me twice with that. Even, not that I did it the first time, but... What's here? Oh. The divide between the sacred and us mortals. The shrine it belongs to must be up ahead. Yep, got it. I think I had to get this here. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> With some difficulty, I can barely re uh, I can barely use the branch to get the object out of the water without disturbing it. A train pass. Just like I thought. It has red paint on it. I should go to the station and see who this belongs to. Let's go to the station. It's a pretty long walk to the station. Alright, Magira, I need your help. As useless as Magira is, we need him to help us with this one. Hi. What can the great Magira help you with? I found this commuter pass by the stream. Can you tell me who it belongs to? Yeah, sure, just... It, is that blood? Oh, the red markings? No. It's paint, I think. You think? But blood isn't really my thing. It's definitely not blood. Smell it. Smell? No, 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 no need. I believe you. Right, it's not blood. Hand that here. Okay. A little bit got on me, but it's fine. No problem. It's just paint. Not blood. Nope. Not blood. Deep breaths, Magira. Right. Uh, sorry about my temporary loss of composure. Allow me to effortlessly see, find the owner of this pass. Executing. Damn thing. I'll just swipe it again here. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see, hmm, as fortune would have it, I know the owner of this card. It belongs to Mai, the youngest daughter of the Kawana family. A very interesting family indeed. Oh, and what makes them so interesting? You missed an hour because you were watching- Oh, you were watching the movie! <laughs> oh, dude! Oh man, I still gotta watch that. Anyway, welcome movies, no worries, no worries. Ah, you reminded me, I still gotta watch that. Well, they own a lot of land in this area, and have donated a considerable amount um, to the local shrine as well. I often see my working there. The house next to the station with the laundry hung up outside actually belongs to her grandmother. Except for Mai. They all are pretty cloistered lot. She's usually a very careful girl. I can't see her dropping her pass without coming to see me about it. I know all about the passes, after all. I'm the expert on train passes. Mai's a good kid. You don't think she got involved with... nefarious types, do you? Not that I'm aware of. I'm sure it's nothing. But I wouldn't mind taking, uh, taking it to her regardless. Well, if she's here, she's probably at her grandmother's. Anything else you'd like to know? That's all for now, thanks.
Rainbow Six Siege? I think I had that on the Xbox One. I might still have it. I did this before, so it gives me the option to look in or just knock. I would knock first because as a police officer, detective, you know, respectable thing is knock first. You know, knock a few times, you don't hear a response. You see the window, then you look in. These things have order. There doesn't seem to be anyone home. Now we look in. A dark room covered in dust. Hard to believe someone actually lives here. Still no answer. I guess I'll head towards the shrine. Yep, let's head on towards the shrine. What was that? It sounded like it came from behind me. Excuse the intrusion, I'm with the police. Is anyone here? Mrs. Kawana? Maya is at the shrine, huh? That's what you were going to ask me, weren't you? My granddaughter. But you already knew that, didn't you? Where Mai was. I mean... Yet, you came back anyway. How do you... Why did you come back? I... I came for something. It's the only... It's the only way to do what needs to be done. I can't explain it, but I can feel it. The mask. So you do know. Your name is Ito, isn't it? Have we met before? I'm not sure. What's happening? The whispers of the mask have always been hard to make out. I always strain to hear their particular voices against a field of hundreds. Today, the voices all said one word in unison. Over and over again, they said, Ito. Alright, so... I'll bring back Nier Automata next time, actually. I've actually been wanting to do more World of Final Fantasy, so I'm doing that. I was playing different games to see which one I would actually bring to my regular time slot. And World of Final Fantasy, because I actually wanted to finish the game this time, I decided to do that. I might do more near on the on the weekend, though. I didn't get to do it on Saturday because I had to do, I had to fix my new setup. So that's why it doesn't look much different, but things look a little bit different. I'm actually a little more comfortable here now, rather than how my old uh, my old setup was. Can you hear that? Oh yeah, so I was gonna say that um, the game is playing slightly differently than the first time I played it. Because this scene definitely didn't happen. When I first encountered the old lady, she was like, what? Who are you? How did you get into my house? And I was like, uh, the door kinda opened and so I walked in, I mean, you know, it's kind of inviting. And it was like a back and forth, like she was going crazy, she... and then we... I'll, I'll leave it at that, but you know, it was that's how it was at first. This is different. Can you hear that? You must take it from me. It calls out to you. Please, I've suffered enough. And that, that dialogue is actually the same, but it kind of just skipped to that. Oh boy. That's a pretty mask, don't you guys, don't you guys think so? Like, let's be honest here, guys. How many of you would actually put that out in public? I would put it on. It's a, it's a fabulous mask. I give it a 20 out of 10. Are you alright? Why are you crying, child? I... I don't know. All of a sudden I got this feeling that I can't go back no matter what I do. I... I... What were we talking about? Right. Right. Your granddaughter. My... If... If you see her, I really need to talk to her. Yes, fine. You mentioned that when you came in, didn't you? No matter. Leave me in peace. Part of me didn't want to take it, because I knew if I did, it would start all over again. That was the moment that changed everything. But when she extended it towards me, I took it. Not because I wanted not because I wanted it. Or as an act of bravery. I took it because I knew I'd already taken it, countless times before. 
it was as it had to be done. I had no choice. <laughs> you want movies? Why are you lying? Come on, movies. It's okay to admit it. You know, the mask does have a few cracks on it, but it's still a fabulous mask. I would wear it when I wake up. I would wear it when I brush my teeth. I'd wear it in the shower. I'd wear it when I take a shit. I'd wear it on a date. And I'd wear it while I go to the president's office and whatnot. I'd wear it all the time, man. Like, honestly, dude. Even if it's 190 degree weather outside, I'll still wear that mask. Sure, sure, movies. It's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that, but I'm giving you my honest feelings. That mask is fabulous. I'd even kiss that mask, dude. The wave of sickness that overcame me began to fade as I emerged from the old musky Kiwana house. Immediately, my mind began to write off what I'd experienced as a fluke. Feelings brought on by a lack of sleep and a strange case. <laughs> oh yeah, what, because I want to take a shit with the mask? After a few lungfuls of spring air, my headache subsided and the nausea lessened. With every step I took out of the door, the strong emotion I felt holding the mask got farther away as well. Maybe it was the old Kawana woman who had made my mind go to such a strange place. What other explanation could there be? But as I walked away from the house, I stopped and broke into a cold sweat. My skin erupted in goosebumps. Something wasn't right. The mask was still firmly in my grasp. My knuckles had to grow had grown white from gripping it so tightly. Why? Why had I hold on to it? Before I could think of an answer, a scream from the direction of the shrine broke through my muddled thoughts. Well then. <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, that, that trial that trial bothered me, dude. I didn't understand. Like, um... Did Gundam sacrifice himself, basically? Like, they knew what was going on, and they would basically, like, die in there if they starved to death? That's what I got out of that case. Man. And there we see Reyna holding Mai at knife. Hell oh boy. Oh yeah, I didn't point that out. Last time I did, there were four scarecrows now. And I like I said, wait, scarecrows are just crows. I think I think they're just crows movies. Not scarecrows. And here we go with the creepy music. Oh yeah. That day at the shrine, I saw Reyna for the first time. The girl who Kazuki had been chasing, who would be his killer six months later. Her eyes kept darting around, making her mental state impossible to read. Until that day, I'd never seen her, but she felt familiar. As I moved towards her, I began to feel uneasy. At knife point was my Kawana, who must have been dragged there shortly after I arrived. Even in the warm spring air, I remember a shiver going down my spine. Tanaka, what exactly is going on here? Everything's under control. Ito, stay behind me. Who is she? T tell her to go away. If she doesn't, I'll do it. I swear. Please don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Please. Reina, this is my partner, Detective Ito. I told you she'd be coming. Remember? See? She's staying right there behind me, just like they said she would. No one's trying to trick you. What took you so long, Ito, anyway? Uh, tread lightly and follow my lead. Hey, your name's Reina, right? Yeah. Hi, Reina. My name is Ayami. I'm a friend. Please, help me! Y you're not my friend. You don't know anything about me. I, I, I don't trust her. Keep her back. We won't take one more step. Promise. You know, my partner's a lot smarter than me. Maybe you should tell her what you told me. About the voices and, uh, what you call it? All right. The dark. N no, I don't want to talk about them. You said you can make them stop. Can you really? Like I said, I've met other people like you. They were very sick, but when they came with me, I got them help and they got better. I'm sick? It's not real? That's right. Though, 
I know it doesn't seem that way. It's not your fault. Aren't those the two girls that popped in as a jump scare in the beginning of the game? Yes, they are. Yes, they are, Jay. Good eye. It happens in a split second, but it's them. No, of course not. If I was in your position, I'd be scared too. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. That's right. No, you're wrong. You can't see it is all. What's down there? I eating everything up. Eating me up. I don't see anything, Rena. It's a beautiful spring day. Nothing more. There's nothing to get you out of here. It's below us. All the time. It whispers. Shows me things. Things it wants me to do. I can't eat. I can't sleep. There's nothing below us. I know it's confusing, but you've been sick for a long time, and it won't get better unless you let us help you. No! You're lying. You want to hurt me, like everyone else. I'll do it alone. I've always been alone. I need the mask. That's the only way to fix this, so stay away! Reyna. There's no mask here. Isn't that right, Mai? N yes, of course. I don't know anything about a special mask at the shrine. And Reyna. Uh, Mai wouldn't lie about that, would she? There's no reason to hurt her, as if she doesn't know anything, right? Quiet, both of you. You're working together. Aha, that is right. I know it's here. Where's the mask? Where's the mask? I got it, movies. I, I figured it was some. That's why it kind of hurt watching that. Please, stop. I don't know anything about it. I don't. Sw I swear, please let me go. Hey, hey. We talked about this earlier, right? Violence only makes everyone nervous. And people do silly things when they're nervous. I don't know about you two, but it's hard to focus clearly on an empty stomach. And I'm starving. Are you too hungry? Know what my favorite food is? Pizza. Hey Mai, what's your favorite type of pizza? Like I said in the first playthrough, you know, I'm a I'm a big lover of pizza. It's been like three to four months uh, since I've had any pizza myself. It's been a while. I kind of like just hearing about pizza makes me just want to order some uh, Papa John's right now. But it has to be boneless. Remember, guys, boneless pizza is the way. But aside from that, I, I like regular cheese pizza. Other people have other preferences. I used to be a big pepperoni pizza kind of guy, but give me a regular cheese slice and I'm good I'm set right there but what kind of pizza does this girl like pizza you want to know about um I don't know I like margarita well a little boring but a classic how about you Reyna what's your favorite pizza I can get one brought for all of us much more pleasant way to talk and on opposite ends of the shrine if you ask me pizza but what about the Oh, you have pizza? Awesome, dude. Man, I really want some pizza. I promise we'll talk about all that stuff later, but first, pizza. I like pizza too. Before. Not now. Before? Before what, Reyna? Maybe you can tell me about it. No, no, no! I don't want to talk about that. Besides, I can't eat. It makes me sick. Ever since that day. No, no, no! Stop thinking about it! Mom! Everyone, oh, I know what she's talking about. I know it all seems impossible, and that you have seen many things to overcome. That you have seen so many things to overcome before you get better. A sickness of mind can affect the body too. And I bet once the doctors have a look at you, they can help with that too. Hey Ito, you join us, right? What's your favorite pizza? Margarita, of course. You too? Seems all the, it seems to be all the rage. Last time I said we didn't have time for this, and it kind of like um, derailed the situation a bit. You too? Um, seems to be all the rage. See, no one's out to get you. We'd all rather get through this peacefully. Stop! I don't want to hear any more of that. Don't you get it? I won't stop until I get it. What do you mean? Put that knife down, Reyna. Then we can help you find whatever it is you're looking for. No, 
I know what you're doing. This bitch knows. You're hiding it from me. But I know that this... I know this is r the right one. I can feel it here. And if she doesn't give it to me, I'm going to make the little Mai bleed. Reyna, listen to me. I'm pretty sure if Mai knew anything about the mask, she'd tell you. Mai? Mai? No! Her! The one next to you! You said she was a friend. Why would you lie? I can hear them. I can see them all around her. Shadows. Voices. You mean Ito? She doesn't know anything about this, Reyna. You're a little scared of her, and that fear is playing into your sickness. You have to trust that what you see isn't there. No! Stop lying! You don't get it. It's real! She's seen it. But why? Why is it awake? Why, 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 why? Huh? What is that? Can you hear it? It sounds like it does down there. No, 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 no! Get back! Can't you hear it? Oh god, make it stop! You said you can help. So make it stop! Please make it stop! Please! Hey, um... Yeah, let Tanaka handle it. Last time I told her about the mask, and it basically blew up in my face. It's like, you see, I told you! She had the mask! That lying bitch, and it became a big situation. So this time, let me let this guy handle it. Reyna! Reyna! Look at me! We're in this together. I don't see anything. There's nothing there. You're sick, remember? I know how real it seems, but it's not. Yeah, there's a time limit. Don't look at her. Look at me. I'm not saying all this to hurt you. I'm saying this to help you. No. No. No one wants to help me. That's not true. I wouldn't have followed you all the way here if I didn't. You came here for me? Really? That's right. Things don't have to be like this. You're young. It's not too late to be happy. Happy? But, but I don't deserve it. I'm sick. You said I was sick. I'm broken. That's why it won't let me rest. There's something wrong with me. We're all broken. But that doesn't mean we can't put ourselves back together. Sometimes, we just need a little help. It's not real? It's... no. It can't be, but... What if you can't fix me? I'll do everything I can. First, you need to drop the knife. My isn't involved. It... it has to be a trick. But... but I don't want to be alone all the time. I'm not going to hurt her, but stay back! Thank you, Reyna. That's all I needed to hear. Did we save Mai? I mean... Uh... I don't know if Mai dies here. Uh, it didn't happen before. Before that day, the possibility of ever using my gun on another human never occurred to me. In my mind, doing so was a failure as a detective. A sign that you that you hadn't thought the situation through. That's all the other options that had failed. The Ayami I knew would never point her gun at a girl. But suddenly, as I stood under the cherry blossoms, that Ayami was replaced by someone else. I was a passenger in my own body. Looking on in the horror, as a girl identical to me began to squeeze the trigger, my thoughts were lost in the din of a thousand terrified voices. I wish I could say I lost consciousness, or didn't remember what I did. But that isn't true. I remember every moment, every second, and every face that looked at me in horror, at what I did. That's a little unfair, so they still make me do this. And the time limit down there is not really changing. That isn't fair! We resolved this peacefully, why? Why do I have to kill her? Last time I was confused because down here, you could see the timer, so I thought I had to wait- Oh my goodness. It's times like these that you hate life. Look at this. No other option. Can I escape? Can I, like, leave? Can I, like, turn? 
Can I want 80 and just like the train is that way? Let's talk to Magira. Let's let's go back, guys. Come on, let's go. Come on, Ito. Ito, you're this way, please. Anything else that I can do? Talk to this guy? It's like time is frozen. Force <laughs> force crash the game. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. We have to kill her. We have to kill her. That sucks, though. Ito, what are you doing? Ito, put down your weapon! Don't do this! Kasuke's shout never reached my ears. The world that I had been in moments before no longer existed. There was darkness. And it was only me, the girl, and a voice which told me to do one thing. So I did. As my finger pulled on the trigger, Reyna looked at me and smiled. I wonder why she smiled then, knowing at that moment what was about to happen to her. It was as if she knew exactly what was happening to me. She looked me right in the eye as the bullet ripped through her skull. The smile never left her face, even then, even after she died. Yeah, Jay, that was really the only option, I mean... I guess that's part of the game, so I had to do it. So I guess making a second save file was for nothing, really, because... That's the, that's the actual point I wanted to avoid, killing Reyna, but... Whatever. Ayami? Wake up. Kazuki. Do you remember? Huh? Remember what? Your dream. You kept talking in your sleep. Repeating the same thing over and over again. Doesn't ring a bell? Dreams are kind of pesky like that, I guess. I don't remember what happened exactly, but I remember the feeling it gave me. It felt so cold and... and afraid. I'm sorry. I've worried you enough as it is. They're only dreams. What was I saying? Oh, it doesn't matter. Please, tell me. I don't know. It was strange. You kept shouting, Stay out of the dark, like you were scared of your, out of your mind. Must have been one hell of a nightmare. Do you really not remember any of it? I remember one thing. I remember seeing a door. Well, Mrs. Ito, my supervisors have deemed you suitable for release. You may leave this afternoon. Don't forget your medication. I won't. Thank you for looking after me. Is something wrong? No, nothing. I... Can I ask you something? Doubt you'll ask me anything you haven't already. Shoot. Did anyone else besides myself visit you? I know there are a few other nurses on night shifts, and some of the other patients walk around sometimes. Hmm? Besides you and Tanaka? I don't think I've seen much of anyone for the last few weeks. Why? Nothing. I... On the way out last night, I thought I heard you whispering to someone. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I just happened to be passing by, and it's a bit unusual to hear patients speaking that late at night. Sorry to scare you. I've been having some weird dreams lately. Tanaka says I'm talking in my sleep. You don't understand. Whoever you were talking to, I... I swear I heard them whisper back. Nani? Yeah, Jay, that's one thing. And it also gives you other options that basically split the story based on your actions. So... Oh yeah, movies. It gave me an option to use different save point. I'm pretty sure you saw that. But yeah, it's no longer just one save file. Now we get six. Which is pretty good. So now we can actually experiment here to see multiple endings. So yeah, movies, in case you didn't know, um, the story is actually playing out a little differently um, than it did the first time. Because that, that bit of dialogue did not happen in the first time around. So New Game Plus is actually adding a bit... New Game Plus is actually adding a bit um, more to this game, which is pretty good. Hey, you ready to go? 
Yeah. Hey, why the long face? We should be celebrating. At this, at, at this rate, things will be back to normal in no time. No, Kazuki, they won't. Things will never be the same. Alright, so they failed to mention it there, but we basically shot Reina in the head. And, uh, yeah, so that happened. So we killed the red-headed girl. And I think, I'm assuming that this thing down here is to, like, uh, fast-forward the scene? Just to make the game go more, much faster? Oh, we're back there. Back at the sewers. Hey. Uh, Kazuki is wearing my favorite mask. If I were there, I'd kiss that mask. Before taking it off, and then, you know, um, for evidence, but yeah. It was inevitable that things would end up this way. They always have. It always starts with the man I love being killed in front of me. One way or another, his blood is always on my hands. Uh, uh, Jay, uh, that might be the ending I'm going for next. This one, I'm trying to go for the best possible, like, the best possible ending. So I'm trying to do things the right way. But I did see kind of a spoiler when I was looking at Google through the images where, you know, I'm not even going to mention it, not, not to ruin it or anything. But yeah, it, it's something like that, like an insanity, an insanity ending. So I do know about that a little bit. Well, let's check how we're doing, actually. I haven't checked our stats. So, whew, my sanity went through the dumps, man. Look at that. Again. And it was beyond my ability to do anything about that. Yes, Jay, it was the same mask. <clears throat> so, negative 48. I am shaken. My professionalism, I'm still very professional. I've been trying to keep it up there. My investigation, I am focused. And my neurosis, I'm I'm stressed, so I'm not I'm not really doing good. So let's take that medicine. We need that. The pills that the doctor gave me are right on the table where Kazuki left them. Count on him to pass me about my health, even when he's gone. I hate these pills, but I'll keep taking them for your sake. I'm pretty sure this scene is a bit familiar for some of you. Same scene from last night. And if I take it again, it just do it just does the effect of one. Yeah, plus one, minus one. Hey, little one. Look at you sleeping there. Not a care in the world. At least you're alright. I don't know what I'd do with both you and Kazuki. No. I can't think like that. There's more to all this. Too many unanswered questions. I'll get to the bottom of it. Manage to salvage a normal life out of this somehow. Don't worry, little one. There's probably gonna be another article here talking about the events that just happened in the sewers. <clears throat> Let me just, um, try to fix my voice for a second so I can read it. Unless you guys read it, read it ahead of time already. The text might be a little small on my, on the screen for this one, but yeah. A violent incident in the sewer below the streets of Shinjuku in the late hours last night has resulted in the death of a detective in an apparent rescue gone wrong. The body of Detective Kazuki Tanaka, 29, was recovered last night at after nearly a week-long search, when he went missing off the streets of Kasumiga Seki. The mysterious incident has left police scrambling for answers and a suspect as the investigation continues into its second day. The detective who arrived first on the scene, Ayami Ito, has declined to make any comment to the press, but her superiors say that after following a lead, she was led into the sewers where she made contact with the lone female suspect. At that time, sources say, the female suspect panicked and at the incident ended violently before she could be apprehended. There are many unanswered questions, however, it appears that besides the lone detective, there were no other police on the scene, calling into question how the case was handled. 
There is also a question of the missing suspect and why, after Detective Tanaka was killed, the suspect was not able to be restrained. The case comes in the midst of increasing scrutiny on the police, in particular in the violent crime section. As other incidents of police neglect or questionable investigative practices have been made public, several experts, experts, eh, messing up here, several experts have gone on record saying that Tokyo police are not equipped to handle the recent wave of crime. The police have promised to release the results on their internal investigations as soon as possible. Superintendent Yukimura, who was in charge of both Detective Tanaka and Ito, has urged his department and the public at large to hold judgment until all the facts are in. I've heard a lot of rumors surrounding this case, but we're barely a few hours into understanding what happened down there. I think it's too early to jump to conclusions. An article from two weeks ago. Everything in it is laid out so neat and factual, and it makes it seem so simple. It's like that all happened to someone else. Like the Ito on the page is a different person from another world. Yet, it's not. That's what happened to me, or so they say. The article barely mentions the girl, the bloody bag, or the red paint. How can they write that like it's true? The press will try to simplify any story to sell papers, like Kosky always said. Other things about the night don't add up either. After backup finally did arrive, they couldn't find any trace of the girl. Fingerprints on the red paint were inconclusive, and the knife at the scene was clean, too. Very interesting. That's what they told me, but there's no way that that can be true. What really happened down there? I've been avoiding spending too much time in this room lately. Memories of that night always come flooding back whenever I do. Sometimes I think I can hear his voice, just beyond the door, and that when I open it, I'll see him there, finding these last few weeks just to be a bad dream. But it's no dream. He's gone. I don't know what hurts more, the fact that he's gone, or the way it happened, taken by a girl who shouldn't exist. There we go, so now we get the first mystery of the game regarding Reyna. As we saw six months prior, we shot her bullet through the head, so she's supposed to be dead. So how did she kill Kazuki Tanaka? So that's the reason why in the last um, part, I chose the ending where I forgave Reyna because I kind of wanted to do a mystery about what happened. So yeah, that's why I chose that. <clears throat> Reyna. That was her name. I remembered a few um, after the sewer, but I kept it to myself. At the debrief, they had me talk to a, sta a station psychiatrist, and one look from her was enough to figure out what everyone else must be thinking. The police reports, the press, no one's mentioning the girl. But I saw what I saw. If she came back, then maybe... If I could only get some time to collect my thoughts and investigate the scene myself, I'm sure I could find something to prove she was there. I doubt they'll let me anywhere near it though, at least for now. One way or another, I'll find the truth. Let's get out of here. And here comes this girl again. Rainbow Six Siege, cool. Hey! I brought you some dinner. Thanks, Yumi. You didn't have to do that. You need to eat something, neighbor. Can't just sit around all day, right? I know that. It's just... It's alright. You don't have to thank me. I just, um... Ah, I'm no good with this stuff. But Ayami, I'm... I'm really sorry. About Kazuki. I mean... I know that he meant a lot to you. And I didn't know him very well, but... Stop. Just stop. You don't... I'm... I'm sorry, Yumi. I didn't mean that. Forget it. Forget I said anything. I'm sorry I snapped at you. I guess it's all been too much. <gasps> that was a big one, huh? I... Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I know we're not best friends or anything. I was just worried is all. Sorry, Yumi. That's my phone. 
Work again? <laughs> it's like they know when we're talking. Yeah, maybe. I have to take this. And Yumi, thanks for the food. Anytime. So yeah, uh, about that earthquake, I don't think they ever explained that either. It just kind of happened. Like, yeah, cool, earthquake. Happens all the time. And I'm not trying to be insensitive to the topic. I know what happened in Mexico right now. That's pretty bad what happened down there. Completely unrelated. I don't mean anything insensitive by that. So, not taking out of context. I'm just saying that in this game, they don't really bring up the fact about an earthquake that just happened. It was a pretty big one, but it's like, where, what even, like, what? That's all, that's all I meant by that. Ito, I'm sorry I didn't call you sooner. I, um, I need you to come into the station as soon as you can. What's this about? It'd be easier if we talked in person. See you soon. Alright, so I'm going to continue on the second save file, actually. So are they going to show me the map now, or are they going to jump me straight to the police station? Straight to the police station. Alright, there's no dialogue. So here's the deal, guys. It's already 12.17 a.m. I kind of started late tonight. I didn't mean to start that late. I wanted to go for the same time, 9.30 p.m. to like midnight. But I'm going to have to stop here for the night. I actually got a little farther now that I know what's going on. And since I know a little bit more about the story. I actually got a little bit farther than my first playthrough the first time around. But yeah. Uh, things are getting a little interesting. I don't know, Jay. Everybody likes to listen. Like, especially when I play this game. Everybody's quiet. And everybody likes to listen. Because all I'm doing is reading. I'm not really, like, doing anything else. We're just experiencing a story. But yeah. That's going to be it for tonight. It's already pretty late. I'm going to call it here, and I'm going to continue this tomorrow. So, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Movies, Jay, AJ, Josh, uh, Princess Ikari, Flurry. Who else was here at the beginning? Somebody was here. I remember their name. Yes, guys, I will see you next time. Bruno, of course, he was here. And Josh... And Johnny, Johnny O was here, Trevor Robinson as well, Greninja, and all you awesome peoples, thank you for stopping by tonight. I will see you in the next stream. I might be there, Jay, I might be there. I might be there, okay? Have a wonderful night, everyone, no problem. Again, I'll be here tonight again. I'm going to try to go for like 9.30 to 10 p.m. tomorrow night. And of course, tomorrow afternoon, around 12 noon, I'm going to try to go for 12 or 1 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern, of course, this is Eastern time, for World of Final Fantasy, we're going to continue where we left off and whatnot. So again, guys, have a wonderful rest of your night, uh, you guys are awesome, and uh, that's all. See you next time. Bye now.